So I am in verse, so this is Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 through 11. Now I'm not going to read the whole thing. But see, Jesus, um, Satan was like, hey, you know, throw yourself down. And for it is written, um, the enemy said, he will command his angels concerning you and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. But then Jesus said, wait a minute, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. So God was just like sticking to what was written. Like, hey, it is also written. I know you're, you know, picking and choosing what you're, you know, what is written in the Bible, Satan. But let me tell you also what it is written, what is written also. Hallelujah. That thou should not tempt the Lord thy God also. And the third time um, the enemy tried to tempt God was when he took him to a high mountain. Because the first time, I'm sorry, the second time was in a temple. It was a, uh, the first, uh, the second place he took him to was a temple, not a mountain. The third time he took him somewhere was to, well, he only took him two places, but the first time was the temple, the highest temple where he wanted him to throw himself down. And the third time was the highest mountain where he say, uh, if you look at all, if you look down on this highest mountain, you'll see all these possessions and I'll give it to you if you bow down and worship me. And the Lord say, get thee behind me, say no way with me. Get out of here, Satan, I rebuke you, Satan. You know, you cannot do this, the Lord said. Um, the Lord says, if for it is written, you will worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then it says, the devil left him and the angels came and attended to him. So if you rebuke that superior spirit like the Satan had, then it will flee from you and God will begin to administer his angels who will um, protect you, okay? Who will surely protect you. He will release his angels onto you. Hallelujah. So you got to get rid of that superiority type spirit. God would not stand for you being superior, so in the book of Revelations, chapter 7 through 12, it talks about how um, a war broke out between um, one of the angels, uh, Ga was it Gabriel, Nim and all of them was fighting and, and all of that. So let's just turn to that as well.